yeah you need to watch out for this if you don't know what intellectual property is is just try not to use other stuff from other people if you use that this can be a reason for suspending your account or delete your account I have a dream, that's all I need I'll make it up in some work and believe Yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to look at the terms of Instagram Here I'm going to show you how I can get those terms So here we are Google What you need to type in Google is Instagram terms And the first page, press it Or the first link Here you see terms, privacy and platform this one is not important in this case because we discussed the legal documents and uh, and this wasn't part of it if i knew it i would discuss it but uh yeah, not now we're gonna look at the terms privacy and platform i already downloaded this whole page because i wanted to make some notes so you can see how it works and then yeah we're gonna look at it so this is the pdf and in the pdf you see here you see all those documents I already downloaded I downloaded that uh, 6 April and the day recording this is uh, 20 don't worry about it nothing has changed if it's changed uh, I would have downloaded it again so don't worry about that and here you see it also again community guidelines so if you see here we have terms of use and um, Either say welcome to Instagram these terms govern your use of the platform except where expressly state that separate terms and not these apply and provide information about the Instagram services so when you create an Instagram account or use Instagram you agree with this of to these terms Facebook terms versus do not apply to this service so interesting see when you look at this part they are saying when you create an when you create an instagram account or use instagram you agree with these terms so as soon as you create instagram account you agree with these terms so technically when you go on instagram and you want to watch something without the instagram account you cannot access that so you need the instagram account so always when you use instagram you need the instagram account for it so you agree with these terms so let's say this is you you go on the internet or your mobile computer doesn't matter you create an account and you have accepted terms with instagram so this means that you and instagram technically has a current an agreement hopefully you understand that so far yep if you go down instagram service one of facebook product provided to you by facebook incorporated these terms of use therefore constitute an agreement between you and facebook okay so technically they say uh, yeah you have facebook as a company and this is one of the product instagram because they bought instagram and they're providing the services yeah what they're saying here the terms so you have facebook here they also have a company facebook of another product and that's facebook terms they're saying these are two separate products and the product of instagram is different than the product of facebook that's why these terms or Facebook do not apply for the terms of Instagram service. He did describe what Instagram service is. That's what they say. Yeah, so technically you have an over, um, agreement with Facebook. That's technically it. Because Instagram is part of Facebook. The simple. So here you see the services. What they're providing. And that's all it is. We're not going to read that. They are providing your services. Most of the time you think you need to pay them, but it's not. So you don't have to pay them anything. Yeah? Unless you are putting advertising on the platform. So here they are explaining how it is found. So if you have a company, you have certain kind of cost, especially if you are running a platform like um, Instagram, maintaining cost, marketing cost. So people need to pay for it. 
and here they are saying how it's found you can read it here or read it for myself you can read it also for yourself is that the page you can by using the service call for the service you acknowledge yeah ah uh, so here they are saying okay you know what you are using our product but we are using your data to show you ads from other companies that's what they're saying technically here we use your personal data such as information about your activity and interest to show you ads that are more relevant to you so they're saying two things are important activity and interest but they are not saying um, let's say if you look at personal data personal data can be a lot of things but if you look at the privacy law most personal data you're not allowed to use it without consent and here they are saying hey we're using your personal data such as activity and interest but what about the other personal data the Facebook for example the email and other stuff are they also using it so what you need to remember is if you talk about personal data personal data can be a lot of things and here they are giving you just two examples to keep your mind off the other things so that's something you need to watch out for but technically they're saying we are using your personal data and that data is being uh, show you advertising from companies and those companies are paying facebook or yeah facebook in this case the product um instagram that's how they found or manage the cost so they get uh, money for advertising and with that money they use it to maintain the platform that's what they're saying here we show you relevant and useful ads without telling advertisers who you are we do not sell your data um, we allow advertisers to tell you us things the thing is I understand why they are saying this but this is very interesting because in my opinion you can do two things one tell the advertiser we who, who the persons are and they're gonna tell you if they want to put the advertising or not two you can make profile of everyone and then show them the ads that's necessary for them you understand where I'm going when you make profile of the people on let's say the people on um, on uh, your platform you need to watch out for privacy policy rules because they are saying sometimes you are not allowed to make profile without a consent and here when you look at this facebook is making profile of everyone and based on that they're showing you sorry for my handwriting is not that well based on that they're showing you advertising so technically they're making profile of you and they're showing you some ads so the question is is this allowed depends on the privacy rules in your country but that's technically what they are doing they're making profile of everyone let's say a group of people meet this requirement so a group of people meet that requirement and a people meet that requirement and they show them the ads so technically you're putting every group in the same corner and then showing them ads and you're getting paid for it so either say how they do that the question is is it reliable or not you do not know but uh, we provide general democratic and interest information to advertisers to help them better understanding of their audience yeah we do not share information directly identified to you information such as name and email address that by itself can be used to contact or notify who you are unless you give a specific permission yeah so i understand what they are saying this but do they, are they doing this also that's something you need to ask yourself are they also doing that um, people need to give you specific um, permission to share your name and email address so when you give instagram specific information uh, permission to share your name and email address they're allowed to do that but um, i don't see that here I understand why they say specific because you need a uh, specific content. Let's see. Um, you may see branded content on Instagram posts by account holder who promote products or services based on commercial 
relationship with business partner mention their content you can learn more about this mm. okay i'm not going to read that but these are things that you need to ask yourself are they really doing that can they really doing that that's something because as soon as you make profile you have an id number let's say you give every person an id number it's the same as something that can identify to you as a person so when you make a profile you have certain kind of people in that id number profile and then you show them the ads that's technically how they work let's see data, data policy providing our services require yeah so technically they're saying they need to make a, a privacy policy and they call it data policy and in the privacy policy they explain to you what they do with your data we're going to read that later so here we have your commitment to return for our commitment to provide service we require to make commitment to us okay this is our if you if you have an account this is your commitment who can use instagram you have to be at least 13 years old yeah okay yeah but this is your commitment and the same why you why you put this in here but you cannot prevent this and you cannot check this so how do they check this what do i mean by that they say you must not be a convicted sex offender if you're a convicted sex offender and you are released you make an internet uh, instagram instagram account who's going to stop you so how can you how, how are you going to check this how you cannot use instagram providing a safe and open service for broad community requires that we all do our part yeah is this really safe and open because everyone needs an account to use it so it's not open it depends on the definition of open so these are the questions that you can ask yourself and broad community that we all are part of you can impersonate others or provide a lot of people do that but uh, they do not take action fast enough you can do any unlawful misleading or fraud mm, i can understand that why they're saying that uh, you cannot file the weight yeah this is all you can you can but you can, they cannot do anything about that almost time they say they cannot do anything about that but okay permission you gave us as part of the agreement you gave us okay there's something important what most people don't understand when you post something in instagram the the ownership of the copyrights always belong to you so you do not transfer the copyright to someone else let me give you an example if you create a picture you put it on instagram so it's on the instagram the picture right? that picture the copyright belongs to you copyright belongs to you you do not transfer the money from you to instagram no you do not do that because when you transfer the the license you need to meet certain kind of requirements but what you do give is what they already have here you give them a license and here they explain what the license is so in this part they explain what the license is yeah permission to use username profile picture and information about your relationship with other accounts interesting rights we retain okay this is rights we retain so they have certain kind of rights if we talk about your username if you use content go for it yeah you need to watch out for this if you don't know what intellectual property is is just try not to use other stuff from other people if you use that this can be a reason for suspending your account or delete your account or breach of the terms of condition That's something you need to watch out for yeah then we have you can only use intellectual property 
and this is their intellectual property so they created something and you are creating something so they have intellectual property you have intellectual property you must obtain right information for us for an open source license to create yeah that's not really important okay content removal so sometimes they will remove your content if you don't meet these requirements you can look it here and that's not really that important unless you want to read it, you can read it okay what happens if you disagree yeah so you say this they say that and what can you do you use of music on service subject to music guidelines yeah 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 as any man that if he failed to yeah so this is something important if instagram do not take action that doesn't mean they cannot take action in the um in the future they still can take action i can understand why they are putting this here yeah so here if they give you certain kind of rights they also have the right to take it back that's what they're saying here this is the interesting part who has right on the disagreement so not third parties yeah i can understand that i can also understand this so if you, instagram gives you some certain kind of rights it's like a personal rights you cannot transfer it to someone else you cannot transfer the rights that you have on instagram to someone else okay who's responsible if something happened yeah so this is a uh, most of company has this so okay it's common um we also don't control what people and other people do say okay yeah i can understand it so they're not taking responsibility for other people yeah there's something common that the company put it in uh, the terms otherwise you are really stupid but okay how will we handle dispute if you are a consumer the law apply to any claims cause right? yes aha this is smart and this is really difficult for some people what people don't realize is the way how they start this sentence if you are a consumer yeah i can understand what they're saying like this but if you're a consumer there's international law and most of the time it will be in favor of the consumer but you need to meet the requirement of consumer and if you do not meet the requirement of consumer you are not a consumer if you are not a consumer then you have to follow this process and that's where it gets difficult so you need to figure out first are you a consumer according to the law and most time you do not meet the requirements because you're not buying anything in here because look at the word consumer consumer is you pay for something there's something in return they're saying consumer but here you're not paying anything here they are providing certain kind of services, but you are not paying for it. But I do not know if paying is the key factor for being uh, a consumer or not. But if you want to take action, you need to figure out if you are a consumer or not. Otherwise, you have to follow this part. The thing is, the reason I'm saying this is because if you are a consumer, the law is saying your the law in your country goes first. So it has to be in the benefits of the consumer. But if you look at this, um it's hard to tell if you meet requirements for consumer if i knew about this i will look at the definition of consumer in the intellectual um international law and then tell you um what you need to watch out for maybe this is an uh, video topic where we can look at um international law and what benefits can you get out of it if you're a consumer so that's maybe a topic for in the future but it's really, it's really interesting. Most company, they always have this, but they cannot go around consumer because you cannot agree with people that you will go against the law. 
That's technically the basic mindset. Um, so yeah, updating the stairs. This is the important part. You see, they updated last 2020. And the thing is, if you look at terms, when you update it, you need to inform the people about the update. But if you look at the other documents, most time you do not need to inform the people about it, unless it's the privacy policy. So we look at the terms. If you look at the website, you have here. I have a dream. That's all I need. I'll make it happen with some work and belief. Know what I want, so I'll take it on. I've made mistakes, but mistakes make you strong. Let's break it down for a minute. I want the crown, I'm gon' get it. You hear me, lamin', I'm winning. Yeah, Charlie Sheen will be.